It's, it's a super simple recipe, and I think you're gonna, it's gonna make you swallow your tongue. That's what I think. <laughs> Brothers Bistro. Recipe so simple, even a dude can make it. I'm Skinny Kenny. I'm Musclehead Kev. Yeah. We're the Clark really? Brothers. Huh? That's what, what I say. We? I said, we're the Clark Brothers. What did you say? That's what I said. We're the Clark Brothers. Ah, ah, ah. I gotta start from the beginning so you yes. can catch on. Okay, I'm Skinny Kenny. I'm Musclehead Kev. And we're, we're the Clark Brothers. Brothers. Welcome to Brothers Bistro. Ah, ah. We finally got it. Boy, that was a big effort. Yeah, I don't know, well, maybe, maybe we should call it quits. <laughs> just just end early right. while, while we're on. Right. It's snowing outside, it's one of those kinds of days. Don't forget to look into the camera. Okay. I'm That's where our viewers are. You I need to post my Hey, Facebook you and TV land. <laughs> okay, so hey, what we got tonight is one pot skillet roast beef. Well, it's not one pot, one skillet roast beef. But it's got a, this one's a little complicated. It doesn't have a lot of ingredients, but you're going to see there's a little complication going in and out of the oven. We, we haven't decided. We might use the grill. My brother likes to use the grill. A little overwhelming or underwhelming? Yeah, overwhelming. Under, underwhelming. Underwhelming. Look at that. Not very many ingredients. In fact, we decided to show you the unvarnished version of what it looks like when we come back from the grocery store for something yeah. like this. So the recipe called for a few of these items. Uh, that we were gonna slice and dice and all that, but as you know, we don't do a lot of slicing and dicing if we can help it. So we picked a few bagged up things. Some of them uh, were fresh, and some were frozen, and we're gonna show you what those are. Yeah, so we just let the mood hit us when we're in the grocery store. Let's, Let's walk you through what we got. We started with the red, green, and yellow peppers. I think the recipe calls for red and green separately, that you would buy a bell pepper, red bell pepper, and a green pepper, and you would slice them up. These are frozen, so we're kind of letting them thaw out before we get going. Uh, we got a couple of bags, so we're estimating the uh, the contents that we need. And then we got my bro's favorite. I actually have it all wrapped up like a Christmas package because it's about the same cost. Wait a second. He did this all wrong. He went over to the butcher. If you go to the butcher, you're going to pay a premium. This is prime tenderloin, so we ought to get tenderloin. And the butcher gave it to us. 30 bucks a pound. No, 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 30 bucks a Holy cow. This is gonna be quite the dinner. Yeah, yeah. 30 bucks. So we, we broke the bank on the beef, that, but that's the main dish. That's the main dish. So we didn't want to spare any expense there. And then we got our kind of our kitchen salt and pepper. This is, you know, you got you have can, fancy containers like this in your house, I'm sure too. So and then we got some green onions. And then we they called for some mushrooms that we were gonna slice up, but we got the pre-sliced version. Yeah, we're all ready to particularly go. Particularly And then we didn't even know what watercress was. <laughs> But the guy- Turns out it's a green vegetable, buddy. It looks yeah. like cilantro. He pointed us to it, and so we're gonna be chopping that up and dicing it up too. Yeah. Little known facts about beef. Well, my brother loves his beef, and that's what we're having hey, today tonight. Hey, we discovered something. There's a reason for Wait, you to Wait, let me cut you off. <laughs> There's a reason for you to have beef. There is. There's Every three, night. There's three reasons, actually. Really? Yeah. First is it helps you maintain muscle mass. I like that. In fact, with this big, this big push with Ozempic and this weight loss drug, right? right. What they say is you gotta, you gotta maintain your muscle mass. One of the ways you do that is you eat more beef. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta <laughs> eat more protein. You gotta ingest more protein. More protein. And beef right. is an excellent source of protein, right? Yeah. So what do they say? They say it's one gram per pound, right? So if you're a 200 pound guy. 200 grams of protein a day is what they what you yeah. should be shooting for. And so if you're on some of these calorie restrictive diets, you just got to be mindful that if you don't have enough protein, your body is going to pull it from the lean muscle mass. And that's what you don't want to lose. Yeah. You lose With healthy, healthy weight loss, you're losing about two thirds fat or body fat and two thir and one third muscle mass. Lean right? muscle mass. So you are going to shed some no matter what you're doing if you're losing, if you're losing uh, um, weight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Second, second thing, reason why is it's an excellent source of vitamins and minerals. What kind of vitamins and minerals? Well, let me tell you. It looks like, like it's got a lot of vitamins. It's in got it. B12, <laughs> zinc. Wow. Selenium. I don't know how you spell selenium. It. Selenium. Iron, niacin, and B6. Wow. Okay. So right. it's got the whole plethora. Right. And the final thing is it's super easy uh, form of protein for your body to dense, 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 dense. That's dense, right. right. That's right. You like your head? What? Like your. <laughs> I can be a little dense. <laughs> yeah. So, don't it's me. I beef. resemble my brother. So beef, it's what's for dinner. It is. Yes, please. Scallions come in these, these, you know, they have them banded together or whatever in the grocery store, right? And the roots is the first part you want to kind of cut off. And then you want to remove any of this excess here. What are you doing? You're going to cut? Okay. 
Okay, so, so tell me what to do. So, well, you're gonna even them all up like that. Try and get them even, and you're gonna cut off the roots. And now, the white part, right up to the joint, is kind of the stiff part of the scallion, and it's a little more flavorful, and often is used in the dish itself. The, the little bit more flexible part, the top, is also flavorful, but not quite as flavorful as the bottom, and it's often used as a garnish. Wow, so, that meat looks yeah, good. Yeah, that meat looks really good, and we've gotten all the ingredients out in little ramekins so you can kind of see what this thing looks like before we assemble it. Now, we're gonna take this, the meat, and we're gonna season it with salt and pepper, half of the salt and pepper that the recipe calls for. Got a little extra, where do you need a little extra? Uh, just sprinkle it over the top here, and then let's do the salt. We'll do one more round of the salt. And we're gonna put it on a skillet to sear it. We browned it on one side. You can see, look at that. Looks nice and brown. And we're browning it on the other side. We're getting it all seared all the way around. What about the, the edges? Do yeah, I'll probably, have to do, I'll probably have to do the edges too, pick it up. On the on its side, you know, get it all seared. It seals seals in the juices. So that'll kind of cure the outside of the meat, and then we're gonna bake it in the oven. We could do it on the grill, but it's snowing outside, and you know, who wants well, to? Well, and our grill is unlike some of the others because of the rectech. It actually allows me to dial in the temperature just like an oven. True. So that's why we would use it that way. Plus, it also has a thermometer kind of built in. So we're gonna do it inside, and we have a thermometer that we had used before. So we're gonna use that. We got the salt and pepper, right? With the beef. And then we've got all these veggies. I don't think all those veggies are gonna fit in this oh, come on. little bowl. Here we go. Okay. He just threw down the gauntlet, people. <laughs> We're gonna do this thing. Watch me go. Wow, okay, they might fit. Okay. Hang on, I got one more to go. Oh, no problem. Hang on. Whoa, 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 some... whoa, whoa. You gotta mix them first. You're gonna get all the salt <laughs> in one veggie. I was gonna mix it up anyway. You washed your hands, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does it count if I went to the bathroom in between? Oh my gosh. Okay, bro, now we got the veggies and we're gonna put them in the same pan that we just seared the meat in and it'll get a little bit of those juicy little cook in there. Oops. Looks good. All right, let's let that go for just a little and we're gonna brown that up, right? And that's all we're gonna do? Yep. That's it, And then baby. this stuff coming Ooh. out, look Ooh. at our thermometer. That's our Therm Pro right there. Shows at 109 and that big, thick piece of meat. We're gonna wait till that's 125. What is that, buddy? I hear, I hear something going on. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Right. All right, hold on, I gotta get it out. We gotta let it cool, because it's gonna be super rare right now. It's at 125, but it said to pull it out at 125. So that's what we're doing. And then what are we going to do with it? We're going to set it over here. We're going to cover it. Or no, we're going to go right into we're, our warming. We happen to have a warming oven. A warming here. oven just set on warm. We're just keeping that warm until we're ready with the rest of the dish. Veggies are doing good. We're cooking off some of the water. Because remember, what we did differently, we didn't go into the oven with them. We went on a skillet because we didn't have a cast iron Dutch oven, and we're just cooking off the water from the frozen veggies and some of the other stuff. So Still got a little bit it'll of be, to go It'll there, be just a few more minutes, but it's and really, really close. Set it right here for a spoon, and then my bro is gonna go over. Okay, we got the proofing oven going. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh. How does the meat look? Wow. I think they're a little bit bigger than five ounces. <laughs> if I was guessing, think? if I was guessing. So we're gonna give them a a healthy serving of veggies. Yeah, one quarter of those, right? So don't steal them all. Right, I know, I gotta leave enough for you. I know you're big on that. And then... Okay, now I'm gonna get the... Uh, beef. Ooh, that looks good. Wow, holy cow. I got one here for me. Okay, that looks pretty amazing. Ooh. I hope you like your steak rare. <laughs> Well, let's just let's just see how rare it is. Yeah, no, no, you don't know until you try. Wow, I, I, I like it. Actually, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty medium rareish. Okay, cool. can you see that with the camera? Can you see that? Mmm. Well, I gotta say, the butcher didn't turn us wrong. That's that's like butter. <laughs> that melts in your mouth. Okay. So you gotta try this out at home. Pretty simple, for sure. The only complication was in and out of the oven. But other than that, super easy, hardly any ingredients. 
uh, you know, we spent a little extra by going to the butcher, but you can pick up something out of that butcher section and don't have to spend as much as we spend. The managers are special. <laughs> That's where Ken likes to <laughs> spend most of his time. <laughs> All right, with that, Rose Bistro, out. <laughs>